We will begin with a core warm-up and a balancing exercise. Raise the right knee and hold it there while you tighten your core. Alternate arm raises while keeping that knee up. Now, change the legs, raise the left knee this time, and do the alternate arm raises while keeping a slight core tension. Now, lay on the floor, face down, and do freestyle kicks quickly for 30 seconds. Ten seconds more. Okay, now roll over and do backstroke kick quickly for another thirty seconds. You can say hello. Ten seconds more. Come on, you can do it. Okay, rest. We're going to do that one more time. Lay on the floor face down and do freestyle kicks quickly for 30 seconds. Okay, now roll over and do backstroke kicks for another 30 seconds. Okay, rest. Now, Get to a high plank and lift your left hand off the floor and let it rest by your side. Now that you're in a side plank with your hips in line with your body, you can stay here or increase the difficulty by lifting the arm to the sky and then the leg to end up in a star position. Hold it for a second and then go back to the side plank. Do that five times or hold the side plank until I tell you to switch. Okay, switch sides now and do the same thing. Hope you find what you've been looking for. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I, I don't want to feel no more. Now we will do a slightly complicated movement that is great for knee strength and core stability. It's called Hinge to Siza. Watch first and then do it yourself. You start standing up, then do a good morning to a squat movement and then slowly bring your knees all the way to the floor. Make sure you have a yoga mat or a towel there for your knees. Then put your feet in plantar flexion and lean back with your torso and put your hands on the floor for support. Now spring back into kneeling pose, change your feet to dorsiflexion, put your arms in front to balance yourself up into a deep squat and then into a good morning. Now that you know the movement, let's try doing it eight times. 
Good morning. Squat. Knees to the floor. Lean back. Kneeling pose. Deep squat. And a good morning. I'll guide you one more time. Good morning. Squat. Knees to the floor. Lean back. Kneeling pose, deep squat, and a good morning. Number three on your own. Let's go. Never mind. I'm thinking out loud before we draw a crowd. Number four. There's no need to scream and shout. Number five. Number six, let's go. Number seven. Like a broken soul in a We're almost there. And the last one. That is how I feel when the mirror shows me strangers. Let's take a short rest while you watch this ad and skip it when you're ready to go again. Next up, crawl switch under. On a crawl position, we will pass the right foot underneath to the other side while you turn and pass the left arm over to the floor on the other side and come back. Do the same but with the left foot first. This should be a controlled movement. It's great for coordination, core strength and shoulder stability. Keep rolling a few more reps with me. I'll tell you when to stop. Now, let's do a bear walk for about 3 meters or yards forward and then backwards. Push your shoulders to the floor as if you were going to do a handstand. This is great for stabilizing the shoulders. Do this 3 times. Next up, we will do the freestyle kick exercise for 30 seconds. Now flip over to the backstroke kick for the next 30 seconds. Kick faster.
let's take a short rest while you watch this ad and skip it when you're ready to go again. Now you have two options. You can continue your workout by clicking on this video or you can finish up by stretching with me on this video. See you there, swim fast.